I'm interested in really complex systems and decisions under, under uncertainty and how you actually intersect analytics and uh, process and system design together uh, to be better at this, these challenging uh, tasks because I think that one of the most uh, challenging uh, aspects of managing a complex system is, is to how to deal with uncertainty and how to deal all, with all the aspects of, of, of complex system, the workforce, the human factors, the culture, uh, the data, um, I, I, I find it fascinating. So that's why uh, I, I typically do not define myself through disciplines, but actually through problems. And I, I believe that uh, I can learn and leverage different disciplines, either myself or through uh, the very easy way to collaborate within MIT and MIT Sloan in particular with other people that maybe uh, bring to the table other disciplines that are not, I'm not mastering at the moment. Um, so I'm a very much a problem-driven uh, person, I would say. It's also fair to say that academia is my second career. I spent almost 12 years in the Israeli military. I was responsible for uh, doing um, high-risk um, or supporting high-risk activities. Um, so um, intellectually there are similarities. Um, <clears throat> and and it, it's true that I'm, whatever I do and the, the research that I do and the things that make me um, kind of excited and interested in are affected by the experience that I have. Uh, throughout the military uh, time, um, because there are, there are, the context is very different, but there are many um, uh, dynamics and many aspects that are overlapping. The starting point would be that I think that the name healthcare is already uh, implicitly uh, wrong, right? Uh, it actually reflects the current system that is designed to uh, take care of sick people, to care for sick people. Um, I think that in the future we will need to think about really managing health. Uh, and more precisely, so how do we actually think about holistically and comprehensively about what affects health of people, food, uh, education, uh, housing and, and so forth and how do we manage those factors to keep people actually healthy rather than to care for them when they are sick. And, and that requires um, a fundamental mind shift because it, it, it really is a long term thinking and a long, long, long term investments that are kind of contradictory to most of the political and corporate systems that we currently have, not only in the US but across the, the globe, that I think are, are uh, almost by design tend to look on uh, things in a short-sighted way. Uh, if you think about the politician term, it's usually um, mandated to a few years. If you think about the a, a CEO, they are measure, measured quarter by quarter. So, so we have a lot of factors that push people to actually see and really uh, prefer short-term thinking and short-term actions. And when you think about the health management, there is nothing more long-term than that. And the investments are gonna to have to be very long-term and it's gonna take a lot of patience to see the impact of some of these interventions. We kind of avoid the discussion of what do we expect the system to do? What do we expect the system to do? I think that we almost, especially in the US, almost in any area of our life, there will be a differentiation in the quality of service that people get based on how rich they are, based on how well established they are. Take education, for example. Um, but what I think is missing in healthcare uh, is, is, or in health is some consensus of what is the minimum level that we want to guarantee to everybody um, because that's what society needs to do both financially as well as ethically. Uh, versus what is like basically subject to choices. So, for example, if I want to go and uh, have my MRI at MGH, at Academic Medical Center, or while it could be equally done in a, maybe a private uh, office or private uh, company that does the same uh, thing, then I might have you know, the right to do that, but maybe I need to pay for that, right? So I think that the lack of clarity of what is a minimum, what is kind of must, what is actually necessary versus what is a matter of choice, and then that's fair game, but people then have to pay for that, like we do in other areas. I think that that, that basis is missing in healthcare, and I'm not sure that we are, as a society, are, are, um, are um, open or open enough to have those kind of discussions. Defining the issue as digital health is wrong. Uh, I think that the, and that not, that's not to say that data doesn't matter. Data matters a lot. Data is going to be crucial. Data is going to be key. But we cannot start thinking about the data as the goal or as the starting point. We need to start thinking about 
the system, the, what the system needs to do, what are the challenges that we need to solve, and then figure out what kind of how data and technology and analytics and uh, workforce design and system design could actually integ be integrated to actually provide better solutions. How do we actually do this differently?